Good evening, everybody. We have the final two playoff spots to determine in the 5-8 softball district. One was going to be taken by either Ray out of the north zone or Vets out of the south zone. Fighting a little rain early. Luckily, nothing too serious, but second batter of the game. Vets is Talia Maldonado with a gapper opposite field to right center. Now, she's going to gladly check into third with a triple, but she'll accept more because that ball's going to be thrown away not once, but twice. Could have had her. Instead, the Eagles grabbed the one nothing lead. It did not last long, though. In fact, the first batter of the game for Ray, Leah Cran, and she is going to smash this one deep to left. Get out, ball. That ties the game 1-1. Now, after that early offense, it would stay that way all the way until the fifth inning when the Eagles, Elizabeth Solis with the chopper up the middle, the seeing eye single gonna bring home Jada Zapata. Come on down. Vets grabs the lead. They would explode late to pull away 10-1. They grab the fourth seed out of District 29-5A. Well, Carroll was in the late game facing Victoria West. The winner also would head to the playoffs. Loser goes home. Kylie Flores on the mound for Carroll. Going to get a little help from her friends here. Brianna Garza in right. The nice diving grab. Almost gets the runner tagging at second. That was close. Now Carroll not wasting any time at the plate either. Caitlin Mendez with the grounder. This throw from the Warriors shortstop going to be just a bit off. That kind of opened the floodgates. Carroll taking the one nothing lead. Then Isabella Guzman, the base is loaded. Not anymore because the base hit up the middle. One run's going to score, two run's going to score. Part of a seven run first inning. Carroll rolls in this one, 10 nothing in five innings. So they will be the three seed out of 29-5A with the softball playoffs set to start next week.